I think for too long, um, Democrats have, have embraced too much um, this idea that if we just do nothing but wait, we will become a majority party in the state due to demographic shifts. And we have, we've abandoned what makes a, a working majority party in a state that doesn't have that type of a demographic, demographic advantage maybe um, coming its way, like candidate recruitment at the local level. We, we don't do a good job. I'll tell you what, I think I'm a pretty good Democrat. I think I'm a good progressive. I think I'm a good legislator. But I can tell you the Democratic Party wasn't ever going to find me. They were, the state Democratic Party wasn't going to go in, into Dallas and try to figure out, you know, who, who has a track record, who has the kind of profile, who's done the right kind of things to make a good representative of our party. The party's not interested in doing that, it seems. Um, the party seems to be very content to just wait and, and, until the numbers become so overwhelming in terms of demographics, the, the idea being that someday the Latino plus the black plus the Asian plus the, the white working class vote will be such that you, you can't do anything but elect a Democrat statewide. While that may be true someday, I don't think that that's something that we should be waiting on because I think you can bring about democratic, democratic control in the state a lot faster if you try to be the party that addresses the needs of most Texans and you show that you have the capability of governing and being responsible and that you are a, you're a responsible steward of taxpayer money, natural resources, and the kind of stuff that people really want to see their elected officials are getting involved in. So I think Democrats could get out in front on things like ethics reform, transparency, shining a light on state government and figuring out, you know, how we're spending taxpayer money. Are we just giving taxpayer money away without any type of oversight and review to people who happen to have the best relationships in the governor's office? Or are we really spending it on, the, on ways that will benefit most Texans? You know, are, are we doing the right things uh, with respect to infrastructure, like I mentioned before? These are the kind of things that if Democrats focus really hard on and show that you know, we're the party that wants to give you that high-speed rail and wants to give you those highways so you can get back and forth to work without waiting in traffic forever and that will attract more businesses to come here so that when these young folks graduate, they have a job. We're the party that wants to focus on water so that by 2060, we aren't you know, eight and a half you know, million acre feet um, per year short of our water needs. Um, we're the party that's gonna do all that for you. We should be focusing on policy like that and we should be focusing on candidate recruitment at the local level to try to find people who have the advanced degrees and the training and the demonstrate. It, it shouldn't be enough just to be a party hack who's been going to a lot of Democratic functions for a long, long time and now it's your turn. No, you need to show me that you got some kind of head for policy and that you sure enough share our progressive values but you've got the right profile, that you haven't been you know, convicted of any major crime or something like that, and that you know you got you got a good clean record, and that you're the kind of person that we can run in East Texas, and that people won't automatically go, oh, it's a Democrat. We know what that's going to be about. It's a city Democrat. They're going to be corrupt, and they're going to be about wasting taxpayer money. You know, they they need to see people that they can look at and say, you know, it's a city slicker maybe, but it's somebody who's talking about bringing you know, water to my area in West Texas or uh, transportation in, in, into my area in East Texas. You know? So I, I think there's a different way to go about handling becoming a majority party that doesn't involve sitting around and waiting.